Praying in the morning isn't just some religious thing that we do, it's an activity that we take with us all day long. Welcome back everybody. Today I'm gonna talk about three benefits for praying in the morning. If you do enjoy these three benefits, then please give it a like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. I would like to start off by just saying, I would like you to pray every single morning, not for 30 days, not for 60 days, every single day from this day forward, if you are not already. I want you to pray every morning before you even get up, before you go brush your teeth, before you do anything. I want you to see how your relationship with Jesus just gets better. It just gets 10 times better crazier even Jesus prayed early in the morning to spend time with God and rising very early in the morning while it was still dark he departed and went out to a place and and began to pray he loved being with God and and starting the day with God starting early in the morning brand new and that's what we're going to be doing and that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today the three benefits that you get for doing it in the morning the first benefit is it starts your day off on the right track which I was just referring to just now it gets you on the right track. It puts your spirit in the right place in the morning before you even do anything. It definitely makes God really happy to know that he was your first priority, that he's your priority before you do anything, that right when you open your eyes, you immediately think of him and just pray in thankfulness of a brand new day. And when you pray in the morning, if you pray with a genuine heart and with faith and about what you're praying about is just being so thankful for a brand new day that you're just going to in, indulge yourself in God's presence day and you're going to just you're going to carry that with you all day long. That's why it's important to start early because then you can end the same way. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to pray in the morning and then every single person who prays in the morning is going to have just the purest of cleanest of days. The only reason why that would be so of why you're not going to have these purest of clean days in your perspective is because you have to not just pray in the morning and then so be it and then no. It starts you off on the right track with him, but then you carry that on. It's a lifestyle. It's not just a morning thing that we do. Pray in thankfulness. I'm going to say that a lot in this video. I want you to pray in, in to be humble in what you're talking about. It, it, this is not a time for you to ask for things or anything like that this is a time for thankfulness this is a new day and um let him know that he's the reason of why you woke up today not because of work not because of anything but other than because you just love him and you can't wait to worship him tomorrow and it doesn't need to be a long prayer it could be just a few words as long as you pray genuine and you have faith in your prayer he's truly pleased with it words don't matter it's the heart and the intentions behind the prayer. Was it to glorify him? Is it for him? Or was it just for you and just to feel like you're doing something good? Praying in the morning isn't just some religious thing that we do. It's an activity that we take with us all day long. The morning is when it's quiet, it's calm. This is your time to just be with him without all these other distractions of work, school, whatever it is. Anything that takes up time, right? That's okay. You can pray at work and all those things. But this is your time right now to, to pray in this quiet time. This is why it's very important to pray in seclusion. And mornings can do that. When everyone's asleep or whatever, if you wake up and you know your kids are awake, this and that, and they're screaming and all this and whatever, wake up a little bit earlier instead. There's, we can always do something to get that time. There's always going to be time. If we need to wake up a little bit earlier for just two minutes, let's do that. It'll benefit your day. It'll benefit your life just by doing that. The second benefit is it makes your relationship stronger. Prayer is crucial with God. Like I said, you start with Him and you carry it through all day long by keeping him number one you pray in the morning that he's with you at work that you're safe at work that whatever goes on at work that he is your provider for finance whatever goes on at work whatever goes on at school whatever it is he's there for you you start it off good and if you have issues he's there constantly have that communion with god that's what makes your relationship super super powerful in your life the way you react to things the way your emotions are driven the way you think and how you handle decisions because you'll you'll start to see how when you have that constant communion with him you're always talking to him it's going to change your life completely it'll change the mood of your day by praying in the morning praise him in the morning let it be about him and not you about all these things that come up in your mind immediately when you wake up things that you need to get done things that need to that you have to fix at work things that 
let God completely indulge himself in your life and these problems won't be problems but they'll just be situations that you can deal with with God. If work is important to you, it's important to him. If school is important to you, it's important to him. And he's gonna make sure that everything's okay and that you don't have to worry. If he says cast your, all your burdens on him, then do that. A lot of us wanna hold on to it ourselves because we, th we think we can handle it and deal with it ourselves. So praying in the morning definitely makes it stronger because it starts you off on the right foot as benefit one does, but also lets you have that constant communion with him because you start off strong but then you continuously pray with throughout the day so you just pretty much just had a starting point of of your day and did it throughout the day of praising him until nighttime and that's what a true believer does that is an all-day experience that is a lifestyle it's not that you have to it's that you want to it's that you love him and you want to talk to him the last benefit i have for number three is it removes negative things negative thoughts negative whatever now this is important this is very important because i know a lot of people have in today's world there's a lot of depression there's a lot of this there's a lot of anxiety whatever goes on in the world there's a bunch of that nowadays and morning prayer can end that some people may wake up like like uh not again i really don't want to do this no and some people just don't like life at all it's crazy but man i just like wish i just wasn't here is what they would say god put the very breath in your lungs for him to glorify him every word you're speaking is supposed to glorify him everything you see is supposed to be in his perspective to see and do things the way he wants you to do them to hear things the way he hears them and walk and make decisions in your life based on how he would handle them and that comes from communion that comes from spending time with him knowing his character reading his word doing that would allow you to know how you should live not by trying, not by disciplining yourself on not sinning, not by doing this, figuring out what to do, but you'll understand his love and you'll just stop everything behind from your past and be a new creation in him. Instead of waking up like you don't want to be waking up, wake up in thankfulness. Again, a new day. The sun is shining. You're not having to deal with many problems. You can, there's so many things that we can be blessed about every single day. It's so common to make the mornings very stressful, starting off your depression and your anxiety. Start off with love, peace, and happiness. And that comes from Him. God in us makes work and everything else that used to be stressful at ease. To say it's the same work, but a different perspective. Now it's His perspective rather than just your own. Because from your own, it'll be oh i don't want to do this i don't want to wake up early i don't want to have i don't want to do this right now i want i don't know i want to go back to sleep or you can be i'm thankful to wake up right now i can read i have time to pray i can do whatever this is my time to be with you right now i'm going to shut out everything from the world i'm going to be secluded from everybody i'm going to take this time and devote this time for you this is your sacrifice right here to to devote your time with him because normally when you say sacrifice it's like a bad thing sacrificing meaning using this time for him putting that time with him because that's how much you care psalms 90 14 satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love that we may rejoice and be glad all our days imagine living a life where every day it's just glorious that you're just glad to have a new day because you have his steadfast love with you all day long and as it says in the beginning of that scripture satisfy us in the morning it's being satisfied in the morning lets the day go great and you do it over and over and over again bad days will never exist all negative things can leave from just morning prayer and continuing that throughout the day if you did enjoy these three benefits of how morning prayer affects your life, I like this video because it really does support everything that I do. And subscribe so that you continue to see more amazing videos that can help you with your walk with Christ on this channel. I would recommend checking out the Messenger Music channel because this video is dedicated around prayer and having your time with Him. There's tons of videos for you to listen to for prayer and meditation, for motivation or praise and worship. These are your times where you can listen to this in a secluded place and just worship him to pray and just completely indulge yourself in that presence and make his presence
tangible and they're really good in the mornings because it's not loud or anything like that. It's very calm and relaxing, very ambient for prayer in the morning. And you're gonna see these three benefits as you continuously do this. Let me know in the comments if you've been praying in the morning and how that has been impacting you. Or if you haven't, let me know in the comments later down the road how it really did impact you in your life by doing this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means a lot and I'll see y'all in the next video. Messenger up.